Enjoying various activities. We're talking all the fall stuff. Carving pumpkins, playing in the piles of leaves, <laughs> enjoying a PSL, getting the Ugg boots out. But why not? You bring... added that. That was yeah. not in the script, the Ugg boots thing. But it's true. I could keep going. Cable knit sweaters, right. Argyle sweaters, you know, those big, like, long socks. <laughs> Why not bring the fall into your kitchen? Let's switch kids. <laughs> Joining us this morning, celebrity chef Mark Kalix from the Appliance Factory and Mattress Kingdom. Good to have you, Mark, as always. I'm glad to be here. Thank so, you. So, uh, you are cooking with squash. That's right. I think, uh, honestly, most people would say, oh, yeah, squash. I can make spaghetti squash. Right. But there's more to do than there's just that. There's more than this. And these can be tricky to cut because they're they're really durable uh, vegetable. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. So, a lot of people I see, they use a vegetable peeler yep. or they cut it in half to get the seeds out and roast it. Which is one way to do it, but it takes a while, and then you don't have any control over your, your vegetable when you do that. So my way of handling this is I like to roast and dice it, dice and roast it rather. Oh, so interesting. I like to cut off both ends. I separate the bell, which is where the seeds are, from the stem. I'll come back to this, but here we go. I just take my knife and I can just run it down the side and see how you easily. Look, you, well, no, you make that look easy. <laughs> well, you got a sharp knife too. That's I have a sharp knife, but you know, with decent knife skills. You can do this, and here's the thing. If you don't want to mess with this, but you love butternut squash, I happen to know most grocery stores now sell this pre-cut. Pre yeah, cut. that's what I, I mean, I'm mm -hmm. not even kidding you, like cutting vegetables, I'm the person yep. that chops it and goes flying off the cutting board. Yeah, exactly. You know, you, you, I, know you have, I know you have all your fingers and toes still, so you <laughs> yeah, must so be you're jumping, right. You're doing all right. No, yeah. last time we heard you dropped the knife. That's off. right, I almost, <laughs> took, I almost took her big toe off. Yeah. It's okay, I don't need we it. need an instant replay on that, folks. Okay, <laughs> here we go. So we dice this. I toss this with some of the fun stuff. So I got extra virgin olive oil. Okay. I like cumin. I like smoked paprika, salt, pepper. I throw that in the oven and I cook it till it's done. Right? Okay. GBD, golden brown, delicious. Yeah. You know, <laughs> everybody's oven's different, but about 45. GBD. You put the fork in it, it kind of just slides. Yeah, it just right slides in. right in. Yeah. All right, like so let's get, let's get to work here. We know how to do this now. Okay, easy to cut. And then I've got some field greens here, and I like to have the hearty vegetable, uh, that, that, that. <laughs> the hearty greens. And I, what I love about the salad is that it kind of blends these 70 degree days with the uh, the cooler evenings. So I think it's like the perfect sure. uh, composition for this time of year. Some it's like onions. healthy comfort Caramelized food onions. Yeah. So let's not be shy with the butternut squash, dry fruits. So I love dry cranberries in my salad. It adds some sweetness. I'm adding slivered almonds. And Sam's hovering, you know. Oh, oh yeah, this Sam's looks so good. Kirk, I'm kind of disappointed that you didn't say, "Oh my gourd." Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's an unauthorized pun, Denver. But we're gonna let it fly, slide. All right, I, I got it. some honey mustard dressing here. Okay, we're gonna give us a toss. It's and a missed opportunity for a daddy. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> and then look at this. So, and this is something that I think is an entree salad if you serve this with some uh, grilled chicken, totally. right? Or yeah. you know whatever protein you got kicking around um, for your family. Salmon too. You Oh, this would be lovely with salmon. Yep. And here we go. I'm just going to get this on the tray. Get your forks ready. You know the deal here. When I come oh, into the oh, studio, oh. we eat really well. <laughs> yeah, you take care of us, Mark. That's right. Mark from Appliance Factory and Masters Kingdom. Thank you, Mark. Good to have I'm you as to always. Be here. Thank Let's you. Get it over to Sam. I like that when Sam has a bad joke, she tries to like blame it on me, even though <laughs> I wasn't the one that That's said it. TOB transfer of blame? <laughs> no, uh, yeah. You are just the one with all the dad jokes. But unfortunately, we do have.